how to create Facebook business pages in 2021. Hey guys, this is Shan from nkacademy.com and in today's video, I'll be showing you what are the best possible ways in which you can create your Facebook business page so that you get more followers, more likes and essentially more revenues, right? Now, in order to create a Facebook page, you need to follow certain steps. So this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on all of the necessary steps that are required to perform. And this would be an absolute practical approach so that you can just follow this video and set up your very own Facebook page within a couple of minutes, right? Now, with that being said, this is going to be an end-to-end -end video. So please make sure that you watch it carefully. Don't skip a part of it. And at the end of watching this video, you'll be able to create a Facebook page for yourself, which you can monetize in multiple ways. You can use it with your Amazon associate program. That means you can promote your Amazon associate products using the Facebook page that you will create right now. Or you can simply register on any freelancing sites like Fiverr, Upwork or Freelancer and you can list a gig for creation of Facebook page. As you can see, I'm within Fiverr and as you can see, people are earning quite a large amount of money using the same gig that I'm talking about, right? So with that being said, this is going to be a one of its kind of tutorial and you are going to get an insane value out of it. So please stick to this video till the end of it. And if you're new to this channel and don't know me as yet, then I'm Shyam from nkacademy.com and I do have these regular videos on how to make money online and different software product review that can help you in making money online. And I do have multiple channels of making money online. So I'm someone who knows how to make money online, right? So with that being said, now it's time for us to actually dive into this uh, tutorial and let's jump on to the creation of Facebook page right now. So the step one is getting yourself registered into Facebook, right? Without having a Facebook account, you can't have a Facebook page. So if you already have a Facebook account, that's good. You are ready to go into the second step. If you don't have a Facebook account, then all you need to do is go to facebook.com and on there, click on create new account and then simply fill up this form and that's it you would get your brand new Facebook account. So with that being said, this first step is only for them who don't have a Facebook account as of now. If you already have them, it's fine. You can use any of them like I'm going to use in this tutorial. And let me jump over to my Facebook account right here. So from here in starts the step two, that is creating your Facebook page. So you can do it from two places currently in this 2021 Facebook interface, right? Uh, for that, you need to either find it over here, that is pages, as you can see. You can click here and that will take you to the pages that you already have from where you can click on this create new page and that will create your new page. Or you can do it in a second way that is going on the top right hand corner of your browser and clicking on this plus sign. That helps you to create a page right from here, right? So it will essentially take you to the same interface, right? And uh, from here, starts your step three. Now, during this step three, what we'll do is that we'll uh, provide the page with the basic information. Say, for example, the page name, the category, and the description. So now, currently, uh, what I'll do is that I will create a page for a laptop, maybe. That can be for any laptop store, or you can use it for your Amazon associate products as well. So let me name it as the best laptops, right? So my next step would be finding the category. So let us type in laptop here and you can search for a computer shop maybe, right? And then we can also have electronic shop, right? Since laptop comes under electronics. So in this way, you can have the categories listed. In a number of categories, you can list your page. So that's up to you actually to decide which categories are the best fit, right? Now, once done, you just need to give in a short description. Remember, this description only allows you to enter 255 words, right? So as you can see, I have written a short crisp description. So since my page will be based around Amazon affiliate products on laptops. So hey, welcome to this best laptop show. And here we are going to find all the brands of laptops that are best seller in Amazon and you can find them at the best prices. Now, I'm sure that if you have a business, you are going to have a better write up of that as well. So this is just for an example, right? And then once done, as you can see on the right hand side, this one, you are going to get a preview. Now you can preview it for your desktop or you can preview the mobile version as well. So make sure that you check both so that you get to know how exactly your page is going to look 
on desktop or on mobile devices, right? So once you are set up with everything, just click on create page and you can see that the changes will take place right here, right? You can see best laptops have come up, computer shop has come up. And then if you just scroll down, you can find the description coming up as well, right? So that's quite cool, right? Now, once we have set all this up, it actually allows us to add some more info of our page. So first things is adding a profile picture and then we can actually go in and add a cover photo. So profile picture would come up here and the cover photo will come up here, right? So they both have a recommended size. So let's go over to here to find the recommended size. Although it says that profile picture should be 170 cross 170. But if you actually try to do it, pictures with lesser than 180p width will be discarded. So I would recommend you to choose a profile picture 180 cross 180 pixels. That would be a perfect fit for your profile pic. And for the cover pick, there is another dimension as well that you should follow. Now you can do it via any graphic designer. You can do it via yourself as well. You can do anything with it you want. But remember, these two are the first things that you need to be good to impress whoever is visiting your page, right? So I would say you should do it professionally. Hey, wait, you don't need to pay anything for this. You just need to head over to a free site called Canva. The link is down in the description link below. Now, as you can see, I'm within canva.com and you can just come over either by clicking down on the description link or by just typing canva.com, right? And once you are in here, you just need to sign up. Now, as you can see, I have already signed up here. So you can just sign up and it's completely free. So don't worry, right? And then once signed up, you will get this button over here called the create design and you can just click on this, right? And then you can just choose the custom size. If you are not being able to see it, this is because my camera is there. However, there is a plus sign over here and called custom size. So you can just click over that. And then on the width and height, you just need to enter 180 cross 180 pixels, right? And then click on create new design. So that will open up a design editor. Now you have all the elements available on this side. So you can just go ahead and put in any element that you want from it. It has tons of elements so that you can make sure that you have the absolutely best looking pictures for yourself, right? So as you can see, I have created this one with a couple of steps and it's quite easy to do. I have a separate tutorial on Canva as well. So you can find it out on my channel. However, I have not elongated this video, so I didn't uh, include all the steps that were there, but it's easy. You can see all the free elements have been used. So there's nothing you need to be right. And then once done, you can just click on download and then you can just click again on download. And that's it. Your picture will be downloaded. As you can see, it has been downloaded. So now you just need to go back to the Facebook, right? And in here, you just need to click on the ad profile picture. And in here, you just need to upload this one over here. And you can see this has been uploaded right over here. So that's how cool it is, right? Now you can just go over and for this one, you can again use canva.com. So let's again go back here. And in here, if we go to the Canva home, then we can find that on the designs, you can just go ahead and you can click over this search over here. And from here, you can find Facebook cover, right? And as you can see, it already has the predefined pixels, right? So you can just click on that and that will give you a lot of templates that you can actually edit and create your cover picture within a couple of minutes, right? So we have created a congruent looking cover as well. So if it's created within a couple of minutes, again, you can do it in a better way. So if you have a logo, you can use that as well. So just for the sake of demonstration, I have used this, right? So you can just click on cover and then you can go over to downloads and then you can just have this cover on in here as well. So now once all this has been done, you can just click on save and this will save all the works that you have done thus far, right? So now that we have fixed up all the primary things like the cover photo, the profile photo, the headings that we have, the page name that is, and we have also got covered with the page description. Now it's time for us to actually submit the info that we have on our business. So for that, we need to go over to this point over here called the edit page info and we can click on that. And in here, you can change the name if you want, right? 
You can also create a username. Like if you want to get in touch with us, it's facebook.com slash admin NKR Academy. So it's kind of custom username that you can select. But if you want to have a custom username for your page, then your page must have at least 25 followers, right? So that is not something that you can do straight away. But stay tuned during this video. I will also tell you how you can get followers on your page. So that's nothing to worry, right? Now, once done, you can just scroll down over here and from here you can find the categories which are already pre-populated with the values that we had set up during the page setup process. Now, if you want to add more categories, you are very much welcome to do that, right? Then you can add your contact details over here as in your phone number, right? So that's pretty easy things to do. You can add your WhatsApp number if you want, right? Now, if you don't have a WhatsApp number, then you can just click on this and this will disconnect WhatsApp to your page, right? So if you have a WhatsApp number, again, all that you need to do is add the WhatsApp number over here with your country code and you are fine to go ahead with it, right? Then you can add your email address from here. You can go ahead and add your website address as well. That is, again, if you have any, if you don't have, it's fine, you can leave it blank, right? Then you can just go ahead and add your address from here that will show up in this map, right? But if you are doing something that doesn't require customer to visit your store physically, right? Then you can have this, my page doesn't have a location on as well, right? So what that means is that I'm a seller, but I don't have any physical store, right? It can, It is particularly applicable if you are running uh, things like Amazon associate program or any other affiliate programs, right? Then comes the service area. Now this is more for local businesses. Say if you are a plumber or if you are electrician or if you are a doctor, or whatever you are who has an area of service, right? That means who visits those areas. Then you need to specify those areas right in here. It can be a neighborhood, it can be your neighborhood cities. Please make sure that you enter only the service areas in which you do provide service. Don't uh, try to mislead Facebook, right? In the way that uh, to get more clients, you are entering some service areas in which you never serve. Don't do that because that will in turn cause them in getting dissatisfied via your services because they are going to book you and you are not being able to service them. So they will put a bad rating on your Facebook page, which is going to harm you in a long way. So that's a secret tip, right? The next thing that you need to do is uh, provide the hours of operation. So you can go for things like always open or if you want your opening and closing time to be mentioned properly, then you can select open during selected hours and you can select the opening hours and you can select the closing hours as well. Then if you have any recess, you can keep that in here and then again you can add opening and closing. Say for Monday you have an opening hour from 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. right to say 1 p.m. So it will be like this. And then you have a one hour recess, right? So this would be from 2 p.m. to around say 10 p.m. if that is what you are operating, right? So in this way, you can set up this for the entire week, right? So that is how it works, right? Once this is done, you can go ahead and uh, fill up this part as well. This is temporary service change. Now, this is particularly applicable uh, if you are having any temporary changes to your normal schedule say for example you are renovating your store so under these circumstances your store would be open for only two hours maybe so you can just click on open with service change when you can have the uh, changes like what are allowed and what are not allowed right or you can go ahead and mark it as temporarily closed say for example you are not serving due to some particular reason so if your services are still mentioned as on on Facebook page, then what will happen is that people can go ahead and put in request for the service and they won't get it because you are not uh, giving any service at that time. So it's uh, advisable to actually keep it temporarily closed during that period. And then if you are operating as usual, you can just go ahead and click on operating as usual, right? Then you can enter your privacy policy, your impression, Privacy policy is something that you must include in order to run ads and all those stuffs because that is a kind of legal thing. Now, in certain countries, you need to have this impression as well. However, this is not absolutely mandatory. If you have products that are being sold via your Facebook page, then you can just go ahead and add them. You can just name the products, say, um, laptop. 
right? And you can put in additional information of those as well. And then you can also change the price range that your store has. It can be extremely expensive. It can be extremely cheap. It can be moderate. It can be anything that you want. So if it is cheap, you select cheap. If it is expensive, select expensive. That's up to you, right? And then if you want to add other social media accounts with your Facebook page, you are perfectly eligible to do that. You can just select the whatever social media account that you want to add. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, WhatsApp, Line, WeChat, whatever you want, right? And then you just need to provide the account name over here and the matching would be done right so that is how you can set up your entire facebook page you just need to provide all this information and boom your facebook page would be set up now once this is done all that you need to do is add this button over here now you can add a multiple call to action if you want right you can have call us you can have contact us where you can put your website link you can have the send message that allows the messenger integration and you can have different things like if you are a restaurant then you can have start orders you can have view gift card you can have anything that you want so for us we will keep it as same message so that's up to you whatever you want you can keep it as that right so that's it now the last step that is required is sending invites to people so that they like your page so for that what you can do is that you can just go down over here and you can click on see all friends you can select them all and then you can click on send invitation what that will do is that that will broadcast your invite request to all the friends that you have and you are expected to get 25 followers from that which in turn would allow you to change this username as i already told you that you need 25 users to actually follow your page so that you are able to create this username for yourself now after following all these steps you'd be able to create your very first Facebook business page. Now, if you are doing it for your clients, then you need to transfer this page to them, right? So for that, what you need to do is go to the left hand side and click on the settings right over here. You, if you click on that, then you can find something called page roles over here. You can just go over that. And before going to this, you need to make sure that you are friends with that person on Facebook because uh, if you try to hand over this page, then that guy must be your friend on Facebook, right? So I can just go over here and type in any friend of mine, right? And then I can just select the role that I want him or her to be provided with. So it would be essentially admin if you are transferring it back to your client, right? And then you just need to click on add and that's it. Your client will receive a message on the mobile or on his desktop that you have sent him a request to take over the admin of that page and he can accept it and that's it. The page would be delivered to your client and then you can accept payment from your client and that's wow, you have made your money online. So with that being said, it brings me to an end of this tutorial and I really hope that you guys have loved this tutorial on how to create Facebook business page on 2021, right? And please make sure that you do take action log into your facebook if you don't have a facebook account create it and then log into your facebook account go over create your first business page don't worry about the results just take action because uh until and unless you take action you don't know where you will be lacking right and if you have any kind of issues in setting up your page then please make sure that you do let me know on the comment i'll try to reach out to you and solve whatever problem you are facing so with that being said uh, it's time for me to take goodbye from you but before that i just wanted to make sure that you have subscribed to this channel because i have put in a lot of information for free on this channel when you can find an entire playlist on amazon affiliate marketing as well and there are different videos on tips and tricks on making money online so if you are interested in any of those then please don't wait your time just go down and subscribe to this channel and hit on the bell notification icon so that you get notified whenever i go online or whenever i have new videos on trainings on making money online or on software reviews that can help you in making money online signing off is shine from until then please take care of yourself